Good morning, ladies. It's Sheila here from She's a Sassy Lady, and I'm so excited to be able to come before you today and share lots of goodies with you, and I have a lot to share with you. First off, I am having a contest. On the contest, you're going to win a couple things that are out of the catalog and um, are out of the close to my heart, and one of them is this wonderful, wonderful uh, seasonal kit the uh, Tweetings gift bag kit and you get six gorgeous bags can you stand it six of them in the red and white polka dot and the green and white chevron and then you also get a set of stamps right here you can see the stamps and let me do a little close up aren't they just too cute look at that look at the owl and the wreath and then you get six tags with it and you'll be able to put this together to make gifts and who doesn't use gift bags at Christmas season goodness gracious this is a perfect perfect gift and all you have to do to enter the contest is make a card and send it to me that's the first gift there's going to be two gifts that people can win uh, you'll one or two lucky ladies or maybe gentlemen if I get a, an, an entry from a gentleman would win the second one and I got this, remember last month, they had a wonderful, wonderful uh, gift where you could get three stamp sets. And it's a $47.95 value. And you get all three stamp sets from close to my heart. And that's the other gift. And they're all in here for you. And brandy new, ready for some lucky person to win. That is the second gift. And again, all you have to do is send me a Christmas card and you put on the front of it, Sheila McShay, mail call is what it is. Mail call. Sheila McShay, mail call. Make sure you read, your return address is on that envelope so I know who is entering the contest. Now, I am going to show you some Christmas cards that I'm making and I'm so excited because this has been so wonderfully easy and what I did is this is the close to my heart sparkle and shine scrapbook page kit well guess what I saved this I saved this for my scrapbook for Christmas time and that'll be what my scrapbook is made out of and I saved it but what I did do is I bought the extra paper and this is the extra paper and I bought this too uh, for my my um, my um, my scrapbook kit so put that aside but I bought two of these extra papers to make my cards with my Christmas cards and out of each one of these sheets just this one sheet right here I made six cards okay I cut it three uh, four inches four inches and then I cut it um, five and a quarter five and a quarter and then I cut the little piece that was left over at the end I cut that in half now what that enabled me to do <clears throat> and I have to do some more right now um, because I've got some more cards to put together but uh, what it enabled me to do as you can see is I had the little piece I stamped and I stamped this from Sorry, I keep running, jumping back and forth. I got the card kit, which I am going to start making here soon. But I got the stamp set from, and what is this? The frosted, frosted something? What is it? Frosted? Oh, just frosted. Frosted card kit. And they had this one. I just love it. May your days be merry and bright. And I stamped the inside of all my cards. May your days be merry and bright. And I used that on the inside. And then I put together, look at this, this is so exciting, I'm so excited, two different versions. Here you go. Let me move this because it is, oh, what I was trying to say is then on the inside of this, there's 12 sheets of paper. So there's, this gave me 12 cards just from this one, from two sheets of paper like this. And then I used the papers on the inside, these colors, to cut out my pieces using the winter uh, Anna Griffith's Winter Wonderland and in their book and I've already ripped my book can you stand it I'm having so much fun with this in the book let's see I did 
Uh, let's see, number 19, I believe I did. 19, 19, yes I did. I did this one. And let me show you what it looks like when it's done. I used different colors. I used the colors that were on the kit. So I used the red, which is like a cranberry. I used the slate gray. I used just a regular white stock. And then the juniper. And I put them together. And I want to tell you guys, you have got to either get the Aileen's um, spray stick that's removable or get this um, craft crafters companion stick and spray repositionable adhesive oh my goodness what a difference in putting together these little things I mean it was like unbelievable just spray put it down if you got it a little bit crooked you lift it up again and you put it down no problem at all. It was just a piece of cake and what a pleasure to put together my cards. So, now you know how I did that and this is what my cards look like. Aren't they beautiful? Look at that. And I used a couple different ones. Uh, right now I used two and I don't have them all made because I just got done putting together these and with um, my package I made 18, uh, excuse me, 9 and 9, 18 cards all together. I mean, how nice is that? You can't beat it. With three sheets of this color paper, I have um, 18 cards. How nice is that? So, uh, basically, you don't have to run out. I'm, I'm not going to kid you. You don't have to run out. and You don't have to buy Close to My Heart, Stampin' Up!, uh, Hobby Lobby, Joann's, Michael's, whatever paper. You don't have to rush out and buy something. Use what you got. Use what you got. All it takes is a couple sheets of paper. I mean, with three sheets of paper, it gave me my background for 12, uh, excuse me, 18 cards. And then all I did was pull the color from one of the colors on the outside to stamp the inside. And then I used the colors for my Winter Wonderland. They give you suggestions. They show you right in here what colors you should use. I'm here to tell you it's okay to use whatever color you want. Match up your papers. Make it easy on yourself. Match up your papers. Don't run to the store. Yeah, Would I like you to buy something? Yes. Would anyone like you to buy something? Yes. But guess what? I'm not going to be an enabler today. I'm going to say use what you got and enjoy what you got. Oh, and then I stamped the back. Designed especially for you by Sheila McShay. I put that on the back of all my cards. You know I've got my fancy sassy lady. But I thought for Christmas cards it would look a little bit tacky if I did this. And so I used the small one that I just got from uh, the Stamps of Life. Designed especially for you by Sheila McShay. How nice is that? So I've got my own little stamps. Got that. Now, another one that Close to My Heart has, and I'm going to be making the next, I'm, I've got a set of 15 cards, and I, I began showing you, that's from the Frosted Collection, Brown Collection here. I got so many collections, I went, I went on a shopping spree. And I love what I got. I got the Frosted and frosting card kit for $24.95. Now that includes 15 cards, 15 envelopes, and enough to make 15 cards, but you know what? The stamp set that you get, you can use next year, the year after, you can use on another set of cards, which you saw, which is what I did. And I'm going to be making this, but the thing is, when you get these card kits, or you get the scrapbook kits, it tells you right here how to cut your papers what size you want to cut your papers at. Now how nice is that? To be able to cut them and it tells you what color you cut it at, what the size of the paper is that you're going to cut. Now this is the only thing I hate doing that. I'm so bad at following directions. I could lie to you and tell you otherwise and tell you how wonderful I am. Bottom line is I have a hard time following directions. So, But I'm going to give it my best and I'm going to do this because I think these cards are absolutely beautiful. And I know my family would love them, so I'm going to do that. But you need to know, I mean, I've got plenty of cards and envelopes, so no big deal there. But I'm going to switch it to white because I don't have cream, but I've got a lot of white. I, I bought the extra 
frosted paper packet that was only nine dollars and ninety five cents and that means I will be able to do more than I'll be able to follow the same directions and I should be able to make another 15 to 20 cards with this other packet just by following the same directions because it's the same paper that you get the only difference is you're not getting the envelopes and the um, the cards all cut and ready for you so I can do that I can do that and I can use white paper and save myself a ton of money and I figure just with this I should be able to get 30 maybe 35 cards now just take your time and if I can do it and I'm going to do this I'm gonna sit and work on that probably tomorrow afternoon and sit and cut out all my little pieces get them all laid out so that I can just follow the instructions and put together my cards okay so that was another thing I wanted to share with you don't forget Please make your Christmas cards. You saw what mine are going to look like. And how awesome is that? And you saw how easy these are. Now how nice is that just to make a card? And this is so fast. And this year I've got so much going on that I'm really excited that I'm going to be able to make my cards. But I've really got to push to get them out on time. So anyway, um, that's all it is. And all I had to do was... Do the base of the card, glue it on, put some foam tape on the back, stick it down, and I've got a card. Because all I did is I did the assembly line thing, and that's what I've got to do now. I've got eight of these, so I'm going to take four sheets of white paper, cut them in half, stamp them, and get the papers going real quick and getting them done. I'm sorry that I don't have, in, you know what? I think I might just cut it out and just do this card for you. So, thank you. Bye now. Hi, it's Sheila from She's a Sassy Lady, and I'm back. I decided I couldn't stand it. I had to show you how to make a card. I couldn't just tell you about it and give you something that looked like an ad. That's not me, and you know it. First off, I took my cutter, and I have this. Oh, I love this cutter. I, I bought it from Stampin' Up!, and I cut out my eight and a half by 11s. All I did was cut them in half so that I have eight sheets. Now, what I'm also going to do is I have my 12 by 12, remember? <coughs> Excuse me, I have that tickle in my throat. Um, I think I'm only, no, I'm making eight. I don't know why I thought I was making six more, so I'll cut out enough to make it a little bit more. And I'm cutting off the little strip that's on the top. And I want you to see the back of the strip. It's got things that you can use to design for. Celebrate the season, home for the holidays, winter wonderland. You can save those. And I've got a little spot right above, right above up here that I save them. And then all I did was cut four inches, trimmed it at four inches. Four inches and of course the next one is four inches and then I need five and a quarter so I'm putting it at five and a quarter five and a quarter And the little tiny piece that's left over, I just cut it in half. Hard part is figuring out half. Cut that in half so that I've got little pieces. And I do that with all of the sheets so that I have that ready. And it's so simple. I mean, how easy was that? It takes just a few seconds, doesn't it? Just cut. Cut. Five and a quarter. And take the little piece, and the little piece is the hard part. And you want to cut it basically in half. And if it's not an exact half, you know what? it's not going to matter because people won't be able to see it. You won't be able to set two cards side by side. 
So that. And then five and a quarter. Five and a quarter. And we already know it's a four. So five and a quarter, five and a quarter. And you know what? This only got me six cards and I need eight. So I'm going to take another sheet of paper. And I have another one here, as you know. I put them all in one bag, my leftovers here. Another one than those. If not, I'll use something else. No, here it is, here it is, here it is. I thought I had another one. Because I need eight sheets. I'm not going to cut off the top on this. I'm just going to cut it to four inches. Put it back in my bag. And that'll give me my two extra cards that I need. Five and a quarter. Five and a quarter. And then half of this. Very good. Okay. We've got all our little pieces, and I'm just going to put them aside. I'm going to take out the sheets of paper. Now, I haven't folded them because I found out yesterday that if I'm going to do an assembly line, the easiest thing to do is to just take the little um, sheets and make them all together one at a time and just do the same thing one after the other. I'm going to use my little stamp set. You know what, I should have timed this before I got going to find out how long it makes takes to make eight cards. And we're going to do it like this. May your days be merry and bright. I want it set right about like May your days be merry and bright. Right about like that. And I want it so that... Silly me, I had it upside down. Can you stand it? I'm looking at it going, what am I doing here? May your days be merry and bright. I want it so far from the edge. And excuse if my head gets in the way here. I want it so that when I am putting it down, I've got the edge right there. there. And then when I pull it off, I can double check to make sure my lines are straight, and they are. They're going straight, so I'm in good shape. Now, what we're going to do is put the card base on a little bit of that... Um, foam that close to my heart puts in, ink up the um, thing, and ooh, I gotta be real careful because I didn't get a thing out and I don't want to get this ink all over me. I found out that it is hard to get ink on these bigger stamps. It's like you think you got it all, but you don't. May your days be merry and bright. And notice what I'm going to do is I'm going to just get it and line it up on the right edge just like I did where you just see a little bit of the white on the right edge. May your days be merry and bright. Push it down, let it sit for a minute. And it's beautiful. 
and I'm going to keep going with that until it's done. So I'll be right back. Huh, I moved my camera, so I'm like, where's my button to shut it off? Well, I thought as long as I'm stamping, I better stamp the backs of them real quick, too. And so I did that also, just making a quick design, especially for you by Sheila McShay. And I have to tell you, when I'm doing this, and I'm doing it on this type of a card, I want them to know that I cared enough to make them their own card, but I also wanted a nice and simple, and instead of using a black ink or a bright ink, I usually, and it, and it looks kind of washed out, and the reason why it does is because I use a gray ink when I'm doing that, and um, I like it better that way because I'd rather, let's say, have all the glory go to God. Um, you know, and it's Christmas season, it's not Sheila's season, and we're not advertising for Sheila, so that's my feelings on that. At any rate, I have it all done up, put my little stamps away, and I mean, this assembly line goes really, really fast. I tell you what, I am not used to working in such a messy desk area. This is driving me crazy. Um, to have my office such a mess but it is what it is so anyway all I have to do then is to and I didn't even get out my scoreboard I just folded just folded them I mean it, they, the white cardstock it's not a real thick cardstock it's an inexpensive cardstock that I picked up I don't know whether I got it in I could have gotten it at Michael's, I could have gotten it at Hobby Lobby, I could have gotten it at Joann's, but I always get my white cardstock when it's on sale. Somehow I must have got a little bit of gray on the square, because I'm showing a little bit of gray there. I'll have to watch that in the future. You know what I did is I used a large ink block, which I, uh, that's because that's all I had down, and that's what you're seeing on there. All my Marion Brights are stamped. I'm all folded. This goes so fast this way. Isn't that wonderful? I got little red circles from when I cut out my goodies. And you know what? We'll just do this real quick. It'll give them all a nice firm fold. Okay. Now all we have to do, hopefully I run, don't run out of tape, is then, oh I've got them both going both directions here. And is to just set it up real quick. What drives me nuts on this paper is the ornaments go both directions. They go both directions, which drives you nuts because you never know whether you're putting it upside down or right side up. May your days be merry and bright. How easy is this? I tell you what, I think that's why it always took me a long time to make my Christmas cards before, is I didn't do it in an assembly line fashion. I was just so busy trying to get everything just so, so. I, I find it easier for me to line up my edges when I have it open like that. Okay, and then look at this. I got my little things all made up. All I need is just cut, cut, I use a lot of foam tape, cut, and whoops.
I should have Christmas carols going in the background. I don't have any music going. Oh, I have to tell you, I, I told you I got a new computer. Well, the new computer is wonderful. I've had to, and I'll tell you what, I'll never buy another computer without buying it at Best Buy in the Geek Squad again, because that is wonderful. Every time I run into a problem, I pick up the phone. They get on there remotely. They fix it. They do whatever they got to do, and in, in, in an hour or so, everything's updated. Everything's just the way it should be. It's wonderful. And uh, sorry about the little commercial, guys, but I tell you what, I am not tech savvy. And for those of you that know what you're doing, God bless, buy your computers anywhere and everywhere. That's fine. But those of you that are like me, that are technically challenged, it's a wonderful way to go. Best Buy, doing it like that. Because in no time at all, they get you up and going. At any rate, the problem that I had is I go to put my videos on there, and I did all these series of videos for you already. I get it, and I put it on the computer, and you can't even see the videos. They're not there. It turns out my camera is so old that it does not see the videos. And then when I put on the, uh, Windows Movie Maker and I tried that, didn't see it there either. So, I mean, I, they got on there and they found my videos and they got them so that I can go on and I can click on them. I can't see ahead of time what they are, so I have to go in and label them immediately. Um, but they got on there today and it turns out my camera is so old that the format that comes out on my video camera, and I only bought it two years ago, can you believe it? So it looks like I either have to install a new uh, movies thing, um, movie maker, which I have to buy, or use my old computer, or get a new camera, and it looks like when it comes to videos, I'm going to be using my old camera and my old computer. So, And that's fine. I don't have a problem with that. Look at that. And I'm just going to keep going. So thank you for joining us today at She's a Sassy Lady. And again, I want you to see, look at how nice these are. I mean, do you believe it? In no time at all, these cards are just going together. Ooh, and I've got some. These, this one I've got to put on already. Oh, see, I had already done two and had it ready, so I'm going to have some extra ones. I'll have to come up with something. I guess I'll have to cut more ornaments from um, Anna Griffin's uh, cartridge. Aw, oh, darn. Isn't that terrible? Shame on me. I'll have to do that. I don't have a problem with that at all. I didn't need those two extra because I had already done them. Oh, well. And as you can see, got them ready, too. So, anyway. Talk to you a little later. And be sure, be sure, get that in. Get that mail in. Get the, you know, have the opportunity to win a wonderful, wonderful prize. So uh, get your Christmas cards in and all you have to do, well, actually, any card that you send in is an entry. If you want to send me 10 cards, God bless. Uh, but one card is sufficient. I know how hard it is to make them. One card is sufficient. Just send them in. Have a blessed day. Bye now. Well, I've been here just at creating and creating. Remember, I cut those two extra cards out or pieces to make cards, and it's like, well, I want to finish up for the day, so I thought I'm not going to drag out Anna Griffin tonight. So what I did is I got that package of uh, punch-outs, the chipboard that went with this set, and I thought, well, I'll just use some of the chipboard that's already cut to make a card, and sure enough, I'll be able to get two more cards out of this. And all I did was uh, punch out, and then um, put a little bit of foam tape on the back, just like that. There's one card. Isn't that cute? Here, let me zoom in so you can see it. Just like that. And again, all it is is using the little uh, pieces that were in the set. And then I grabbed these. I grabbed ornaments were on the next one. So what I did is I just put, put a little bit of foam tape on the back, set them down here. 
and I'll have this way now I'll have 20 cards and I've only got a couple hours invested in 20 cards and I would have been a little bit less than but I played around with my uh, camera trying to get things to work so that I could share with you and that's when I found out things weren't working and then I spent time with the Geek Squad so it's kind of late in the day but um, it's all because of computer error let's put it that way computer and camera not getting along together but look at that now I've got out of that two packages of paper they were ten dollars a piece and I got twenty cards oh and then this I think was four dollars so twenty four dollars I spent and I've got twenty Christmas cards plus I've still got mm, all this paper left over. I've got a whole, I'm a half a sheet short, almost a half a sheet short of a full package. So actually, I could say that I got 20 cards out of, well, let's say a packet and a half, spending on probably $15 on paper on 20 cards and I've got plenty where I could probably get another 20 cards out of that and so out of out of $20 I spent I could probably end up with 40 Christmas cards so about 50 cents a piece which is not bad and um, I'm really happy with that considering that I used a lot of paper with the Anna Griffith thing you know if I would have stamped more it would have been, cost less money. I would have spent less money, but I tell you what, get it, gotta have it. This Anna Griffith Winter Wonderland, like I said, I've already started wearing out the little book. I've got just about all of these on my Cricut Craft Room ready to dump out. And then after I did the first two of them here, I have to tell you, there's a couple of them I'm not gonna make. Like this one here with all those little dots on it, to make nine of them, I've got nine on a page laid out. I'm not going to do it. It's just too much like work for me. Um, doing all those little dots and that. If I was doing one of them, fine. But doing nine of them all in one, that's a lot of work. I have this one ready to go. I've got the poinsettia ready to go. And I think that poinsettia is going to be absolutely stunning. I haven't done any of the uh, snowflakes yet because I wanted to use glitter paper for doing the snowflakes. I think that would be awesome. And the bells right here. And look at the difference in the bell here and the bell there. Isn't that awesome? That's what I'm saying. Use the paper you got. Just figure it out. Look at it. I mean, they make it real simple. They put out each one what you're going to do in the color. So you just switch out the colors that you actually want and go from there. And I mean, how easy is that? I can't wait to do this one. I cannot wait to do that one. I think it's going to be absolutely gorgeous. So that's one of them I have ready. And I just got a bunch of them. See, that's the one I got ready that I think, because look at this. Look at all those little pieces you got to do. I just didn't, I didn't feel that ambitious. I hate to tell you. I could, I could lie to you and tell you other words, but that bell I've got ready. I think that one will be a nice one, and it doesn't look too rough. The only thing with a bunch of dots is this one, but it's poking the dots out, and so you're just lining it up. I don't think that one would be hard at all. And I've got this wreath ready. I can't wait to do that wreath. So, anyway, I'm going to let you go. Just thought you'd want to see the cards as I'm done. And it didn't take long at all. I did more time putzing around with the computer, looking at my papers. And, of course, while I'm putting the cards together, I even got online and I'm looking at ca uh, at cameras at Best Buy, at Walmart, wherever I can think of buying a camera at. Um, I don't want to invest a lot of money because, as you know, I'm not here to make money. I don't sell a product. I, uh, I have close to my heart available to you if you're interested. But I don't get out there and bang on doors and that and... and um, 
I just I'm here to serve you and help you as much as I can to enjoy the craft that you're doing and whether it be scrapbooking making cards making bags whatever it is all I want you to do is enjoy yourself thank you for joining me today at she's a sassy lady bye now